Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and this is your November 2011 concert report. It is cold out here in Lake Tahoe. It's about 20 degrees outside at four in the afternoon. It was negative two degrees this morning. I was out filming fall colors a couple of days ago, and it looked like the most beautiful autumn afternoon, and then the snow fell. We've got about six inches so far. There's another eight inches in the forecast for the next couple of days. And when the snow comes, you all know what that means. Ski season is coming up real soon. Boreal is already open. Kirkwood is going to be opening as soon as the snow depths permit. Kirkwood has a new venue where they're going to be having concerts and all kind of entertainments called 7800. The Late Night Productions is going to be providing the entertainment. Check out Late Night's Twitter feed and their Facebook page for more information about what's going to be playing there. They haven't announced yet. Heavenly is going to be opening up the weekend of the 17th. There's a lot of events planned for that. And Squaw Valley is going to be opening up on the 22nd, 23rd. And there's a lot of events on the North Shore planned for that. So I want to apologize to all you guys for getting this video out so late. I usually get concert reports out close to the first of the month. But I went to the Freakers Ball and I had an amazing time at the Freakers Ball. A bunch of people recognized me and glad handed me and they got me sick with flu. So please people, if you're gonna be coming up to Tahoe, get your flu shot first. There is nothing like a tourist town to make the germs go around. They give flu shots out at every supermarket. If you can't afford it, your doctor will work it out with you. It's really worthwhile. There's some nasty stuff going around. So we got a lot of really, really great stuff coming up this month in Lake Tahoe. In fact, there is so much stuff that I made a playlist for you guys. If you guys click on the annotation to see the playlist, you will see all of the great artists who are going to be playing Tahoe this month. And tell me what you think about it down in the comments section below. Let me know. I want to know, do you guys want to have me do playlists? It's not really that much extra work, and it really explains who some of these people are. So tonight, November 5th, first item on the playlist, Christopher Titus. Christopher Titus is kind of a dark comedian. He's been compared to Lenny Bruce. He's been compared to um, George Carlin. He does a lot of dark childhood stuff. And at the moment, he's running for president. And I got to say, I like him a lot better than most of the candidates for president, because at least I know what his dark, dark secrets are. He's said them all in his comedy act already. Also tonight, the Blues Broads, which is four different blues singers from four different bands, are going to be playing at Harris South Shore Room. And Shotgun Snowboards is having their winter launch party at the Lakeside Inn, featuring a live band, a live blues band. They've been practicing up for a few months, and they're going to be jamming at Lakeside Inn tonight. On the North Shore, the Telemark film Loyalty will be debuting at um, the Sawtooth Ridge Cafe in Tahoe City. And Dutch DJ trio Crack and Smack will be playing at the Crystal Bay Club Crown Room. It's kind of hard to explain what Crack and Smack's music is all about. It's kind of dubstep, it's kind of dance. You should check out the playlist to see their video. On November 6th, the rockabilly band Coffin Cats will be playing at Whiskey Dick Saloon. November 8th, the Tubab Crew, which is an African-influenced American band that does kind of world music and electronica, will be playing at the Crystal Bay Club Crown Room at a free show. And Whiskey Dicks will be playing host to the Keep Tahoe Dub and Dubstep DJs with DJ Drek and DJ Symptoms. And that will be happening every Tuesday at Whiskey Dicks, probably for the remainder of November. On November 10th, the Mont Blue is having the official yearly Pray for Snow party. Looking at the forecast, I don't think it's going to be necessary to pray for snow. There's a lot of snow already planned. But the Mont Blue Pray for Snow party will be covered on TNTV. Go to TahoeNetworkTV.com if you're seeing this after the 10th and check out our footage of the Pray for Snow party. On November 11th, the Crystal Bay Club Crown Room will be having a free show with Afrolicious. On November 12th, 70s super band Fog Hat will be playing at the Harris South Shore Room. The Sound of Ill Tour will be coming to the Blue Night Club with several different dubstep and electronic DJs featuring Sporty O, Whiskey Pete, Sue Cho, DJ Fix, and many, many more. Also that night on the Crystal Bay Club, there will be a triple bluegrass night with hot buttered rum and green sky bluegrass. November 16th, Late Night Productions will be putting on a cancer benefit for their friend Manny Morales at the Harvey's Convention Center. Turn out to the Harvey's Convention Center and show your support for, Mandy, for Manny in this difficult time when he has cancer. 
Also that day, there will be a Thanksgiving clothes giveaway at South Tahoe High School for the less fortunate. Bring your old clothes. From November 17th through 20th, Lisa Loomer's play Distracted, which is an ADHD play, will be playing at the Lake Tahoe Community College Theater. November 17th, the Drew Emmett Band and the infamous String Dusters will be playing at the Mont Blue. Also, the fourth annual winter film series will be starting at the Sawtooth Ridge Cafe in Tahoe City, featuring mountain climber David Nettle and his new film about climbing in Asia. My Twitter follower, Sierra Tech LLC, wanted me to remind you all that Trans-Siberian Orchestra is going to be playing their famous holiday show at the Reno Events Center on November 18th. Also November 18th at Whiskey Dick's, the Brund will be having a birthday party featuring LG and Hip Hoppin' and several other local bands. November 18th through 26th is the opening week at Heavenly, and we will have a lot of different events planned. The um, Winter Ignite Tour will be having apres ski parties at the Tamarack Lodge in the Lakeside Inn. Check out skiheavenly.com slash winterignite for more information on that. Uh, there's going to be several ski and snowboard movies debuting that weekend. Uh, Warren Miller's new movie, Like There's No Tomorrow, will be playing at the Mont Blue that weekend. Also, Tall Trees' second movie, Painted Gold, it's a snowboard movie, is going to be debuting at the Horizon that weekend. And not to be outdone, Kirkwood will be opening their new bar 7800 out at Kirkwood that weekend. Um, also the 18th, the Heavenly Ski and Snowboard Swap. You can turn in some of your old skis, maybe for some cash, or if you're looking for some slightly loved but still usable skis, you can find them at the Heavenly Ski and Snowboard Swap at the Mont Blue Convention Center. November 19th, blues guitarist Johnny Lang is going to be playing at Harris South Shore Room. November 21st, Schwazy featuring Cisco Adler. You might have heard their hit Butterflies. It got almost half a million hit, hits on YouTube. They're going to be playing with Mo Sun and Easy G at Crystal Bay Club. November 22nd, there will be another Dubstep Tuesday with the two DJs at Whiskey Dicks. November 23rd, Planet of the Abts will be playing at the Crystal Bay Club Crown Room. November 25th, Oregon with Whitney Meyer will be playing at the Crystal Bay Club. And Life in the Fast Lane, a Eagles tribute, will be playing at the Harris Center Stage. November 25th through 26th will be a smooth jazz Thanksgiving at the Hyatt Regency on the North Shore. And November 26th, probably the biggest concert of November, Bush. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that Bush is going to be playing at the Mont Blue Casino Resort on November 26th. And if you're really cold tolerant, you can go out to the pool party and do the after party by the pool in the snow at the Mont Blue on the 26th. From November 26th through the beginning of December, there will be a Beatles tribute at the Harris South Shore Room. Also, there's a lot of continuing things in Tahoe that go on every week. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there are a new pair of comics every week at the Harvey's Improv at Harvey's. Call the Harvey's box office for information about who's playing. There's karaoke every weekend at the Horizon. There's the Bethany Owen show almost every night at the Horizon. Every Tuesday night, there is an open mic night at Moe's Tavern. On Thursday nights, there's an open mic night at the American Legion Hall. There's really never any shortage of things to do in Tahoe. It's early in the month, the Dan Band is going to be playing on December 3rd. And there's going to be, so stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe for next month's concert report. There's going to be a great version of Paved Paradise coming up on my channel sometime really soon. I was hoping to get it out before the snow came, but it didn't happen. There's also going to be a Gold Country adventure. Um, check out my video of the Freaker's Ball from Halloween if you haven't already. Subscribe to Lake, Fabulous Lake Tahoe if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you and keep Tahoe blue. Bye.